Maria. Tina, what perfect timing. Your sister is here. Vicky, what are you two doing here together? And don't tell me it's a social call. Tina, is there something I can do for you? Maria, this is not exactly an everyday occurrence. Come on, what did I miss? What's going on here? It was a perfectly simple question. What is going on with the two of you? Tina. Oh, now my day has been made. Oh. It has? Yes. Well, first I had a lovely, friendly chat with Maria, now with my sister. We really don't see enough of one another, you know. We should change that starting right now. Are you feeling all right? Well, of course she's feeling all right. Tina, what did you want? Uh, Cord wanted me to come by here to tell you that he... he had to go out of town. Oh, a photo assignment for the banner? No, it's, uh, personal. He had to go to Arizona. Mm. Vicki, I'm sorry to bring this up in front of you. Just the cord wanted to go check on Clint and the kids. Oh, I understand. I think Clint is very lucky to have such a, a good and caring son. Yeah, I just wish he knew how lucky he was to have such a good wife. Look, Vicki, if there's anything I can do to help the two of you to get back together again. Oh, thank you. Maria was just saying the same thing. She was? Yes. I don't know how I can help but be anything but optimistic when I have two such trusted friends. Who's that? You. Maria, of course. Vicky, didn't you say you were meeting some new reporter down in the lobby? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness, yes, I, I forgot. The ban of business never stops, does it? Thank you for reminding me. Oh, you uh, have to rush off? Yeah, now, really, Tina, we can't have the publisher be late, can we? Tina. We'll get together again very soon, and we'll have time for a lovely chat, okay? If you say so. Well, Vicky, thanks for coming over. No, Maria. Thank you. Oh.